Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'll show you how to create a subdirectory in WordPress. A subdirectory is a website within a website. You can use this for testing or for any purpose. Uh, for example, tipswithalam.com slash uh, your website slash your name or could be anything. So that will have a separate WordPress that you can log in and manage from there. So to create that, just open your cPanel. Let me log into my cPanel. And in the cPanel, go to File Manager. And uh, in the File Manager, make sure you click on this the public underscore HTML and uh, create a new folder here. So you can name this folder by that, uh, by uh, whatever you want. Uh, for this demonstration, I will name it as demo and create new folder. So this is the folder. And the next step is to create database to connect with this subdirectory. Go back to your cPanel and uh, navigate to MySQL databases. And here, you first you have to create a database, then you have to create a database user and add the user to database. There are three steps here. So let's create a database quickly. I'll name this as alum and click on create database. Now a database is ready. Then scroll down and go to uh, add add database and enter the enter the name and the username and uh, we will use this password generator. So I'll just copy this password quickly and paste it here and uh, paste it once again. And uh, we will keep this password because we're going to be needing this in the future. And click on create user. So we're done with the second step. Now the third step is to add this user to the to the database, it's very easy. We, it's already pre-selected. I'll click on add uh, user data, add user to database, and make sure you check on all privilege so that you can give all the privilege to this user to access this uh, database. And once this is done, uh, the next step is to download WordPress manually. So you can you can do this by visiting this website wordpress.org slash download. So this will allow you to download the latest version of WordPress. We'll click on download WordPress 6.5.5 and select the location, click on download. I think it's downloaded. So once this is downloaded, you have to open this demo folder in your public, uh, public underscore HTML and upload this file. So let's locate this file and uh, click on upload and this file is now uh, uploaded to our new subdirectory which is now this file is now downloaded to our new directory and uh, just right click and extract and once this is extracted you can go back to the same folder and delete this zip file because we don't need this anymore. We already have a copy in the computer. And uh, just open this WordPress folder and select all and click on move. And you have to move this to public underscore HTML slash your directory move files. And uh, this will move the file. Then you can delete this WordPress because it's of no use. Right click and delete. And once this is done, uh, you'll have to access the WordPress by uh, going to this URL, your website slash the directory name. So in our case, it's demo. So when you visit this, it will take you to the WordPress setup, select the language, and then you'll have to select the database name, username, and all these details. Click on let's go. And here you'll have to enter the database name. We'll go back to cPanel go to database and uh, just copy the database username and the database name that we created. So this is our database name. So we will copy this and go back to our WordPress setup and paste it over here. And uh, in the username, you have to enter the database username. So this is actually uh, pre-filling, so it's incorrect. I will paste this and paste the password that we copied and then click on run the installation. So when you click on run the installation, this will ask you to manually enter the site details. So the site title uh, for this demo is demo site for testing. I'll enter that. 
and here you have to create a username for your WordPress admin uh, admin portal so I'll create the username as alum and I'll keep the same password uh, I'll go back to this password copy this and paste it over here and uh, once this is done you can also enter the email ID uh, to which you want this uh, uh, you know set up details and then if you want to discourage the search engines from accessing this site uh, then you'll click on this uh, you'll just check on this and click on install and once this is installed it is done you can open a new tab and start accessing your subdirectory so how to do that just uh, open a new tab and go to your website slash directory or the folder, folder name that you created so you can see we have WordPress installed on this directory and if you want to access admin portal you can just forward slash WP admin and uh, we will try to log in I'll enter the username and the password that we just generated a while ago and you can see we are able to access a whole new subdirectory within WordPress so for more videos on WordPress and WordPress troubleshooting and SEO don't forget to check out my channel thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one bye bye